What's going on everyone? Cannabis Express 420 here. Today I want to talk about how to clone your cannabis plants to save you money and keep a residual harvest going in your garden without having to buy more seeds and plant them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So cloning your plants is one of those things that a lot of beginners get caught up on and kind of overthink. I know because I did that too. It's a very simple process, I assure you. Anyone can clone cannabis. It is one of the easiest plants to grow. It is a weed. It is extremely simple to grow. Don't get caught up in overthinking it. You can do any part of this just as I can. So let's get into how you're going to do it. So first, let's talk about some of the equipment you might want to get, which are root starter cubes. And root starter cubes are basically just going to uh, have a hole in the top of them. They are made out of uh, a weird composite fabric feeling material that will simulate a little grow area for the roots to start growing. And you're going to put those in a little tray that holds them up. It has a little cube uh, area. So you get a tray to hold up the cubes that hold up the plant. And then you can get a uh, clone dome as well. All of these items are extremely easy to get at any hydro store, plus you can look them up on Amazon. I'm sure they have a great uh, big selection for you to look through. And one more item I want to talk about is cloning hormone. And cloning hormone can come in a powder or a liquid. It really depends on user preference. I use a powder just so I have the longer shelf life because I don't clone as often as maybe I should or as often as I want to a lot of the time uh, as we have seen in uh, past grows. But that's besides the point. Uh, you can also buy things like heating pads to keep them warm in the root area, but it is not a necessity especially since your light a lot of in a lot of cases is going to supply a lot of that heat plus i assume you have a space heater in your grow room and if you don't it probably means you're in a hot area already so maybe you need to bump that cooler up it will really depend on your grow space environment and what you're kind of dealing with in that area a bonus item that you should probably already have in your garden if you're doing all the trimming and harvesting and magicalness that goes with all of that is a pair of pruning shears which would work perfectly fine or you can get an exacto knife you can get disposable ones so then you're not contaminating your plants with possible viruses that your plants could have uh, it's very very smart to get sanitizing equipment and also to have a variety of sharp objects to use while cutting your clones off of a mother plant but without further ado, with all of that out of the way, let's get into how to actually take a clone from a mother plant and then turn it into a clone and have it be its own plant. That is a genetically identical plant to the mother. When you're in your garden and you decide which plant you want to have be your mother plant, which could be any pheno of your selection, any plant of your selection, if you can look at a plant in between one and a half and two months of veg and say, I would like to plant this plant again, it is a good candidate to be a mother plant. That is pretty much the only question you have to answer because if it's too complicated to grow, you won't want to grow it. If it's pr prone to disease and things like that, you won't want to grow it again. So the only answer you are, the only question you need to answer when assessing what can be a mother plant is, do you want to grow it again? And most likely the answer is going to be yes. So let's get into what to do after you answer that question. You're going to take a look at the plant, find out where its dominant growth is. Um, a good clone candidate will be a lot of the times towards the outside of the plant or towards the top of the plant uh, as much as you can get. I would go with the top half just to be safe. Uh, you want to choose something with a six to or a five to seven inch kind of stem so it has a little bit of strength and rigidity if that's a word uh you know kind of life left in the stem it's a strong could it's it could stand on its own type branch is what we're going to be wanting to take off for a clone uh that kind of limb i'll tell you where to stop 
at every point you could stop and dip it in the ruining hormone uh, when it comes to shaving the stem off. You can cut it and at that point you could dip it right into the rooting hormone and then put it into your clone cube or you can cut the clone and then shave an inch of the uh, outside of the plant off to give it a little bit more surface area to grow roots when it's in the rooting hormone and in the uh, the uh, root the root cube when it's inside of the root cube one thing I forgot to mention soak your root cubes in water while you are cutting your clones it'll make it a lot easier and your root balls will already be soaked because you're going to need to soak them anyway and uh, make sure they have a very wet environment to thrive in or you could take it a step further and you could cut the uh, clone off and then shave the bottom and then cut the bottom in half long ways so that it has like two little stems kind of coming out and then dip that in the rooting hormone and all those steps are going to do is just give you a little bit of extra surface area to root or roots to actually start growing and uh, just kind of accelerate the process, make it have a uh, stronger root system starting out. But if you are nervous to get past any certain step, stop where you are comfortable, put it in the uh, water soaked root ball and then put it inside the clone dome and make sure the clone dome is sprayed on a regular basis and just kind of keep it humid. Uh, on top of the clone dome, there is a uh, ventilation tab or there will be either one or two. I usually keep them open at about 25% uh, of the openness that it can be. And that usually works out pretty well. I had a 100% success rate with the clones I took last time using this method. Uh, I did not do the last splitting the stems in half. I just simply shaved the sides off and that was enough. For all of the roots to thrive and I had about 30 to 40 clones I can't exactly remember but it was a lot because I had a lot of plants and I really wanted to have at least one clone of every single one and I was super blessed so I hope this uh, video helps if you like this video in particular please hit the like button and uh, I will see you guys on Monday thank you very much